Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to evaluate and replace the rear brake shoes on our 2008 Honda CBR600RR. It's a really very easy procedure. It starts by just lifting it up in the air. I want to go ahead and bring up the rear end of the machine on a stand. We'll swing the cameras around, show you how to evaluate the wear on the, uh, the pads themselves, then show you how to get it replaced. So let's get started. All right, guys, we've got her up in the air. Got this stand up under it, just so I can turn the wheels. Is that absolutely necessary? No, but I kind of just want to get a feel for how things are working back here. And honestly, this thing's in really good shape. What you want to look for here is any really deep grooves in the actual brake disc itself. There's a few of them in there, but nothing that substantial. And what you're looking for as far as where is this is the actual backing plate here of the brake pad itself and you're actually your brake pad material is right here which in this particular case there's really plenty of it there did these need to be replaced no they don't but i'm going to still go through the procedure to show you how to do it the procedure is really simple and that way you can save yourself some money and they made it really simple and quick because this is in essence a racing machine so basically all you have is just one eight millimeter pivot pin that goes through both of the sides of the, uh, the brake pads themselves. You unscrew that, pull the pin out, and guess what? Those brake pads will just drop straight out. All right, the only trick to replacing them is you can go ahead and put that one side back in what you want to do here is grab a screwdriver and just compress your piston back in. That way you've got enough room to get that other new one back in. So just put it in right there and gently push against it. And it'll just go right back into that uh, cylinder bore. All right, we grab our other pad. Basically it just rides on an edge up inside like that. And Honda wants you to put just a little bit of grease on this O-ring on the end of that pin. All right, next, push in on those two springs and just push that pivot pin right back in. All right, the torque setting on this is 13 foot-pounds if you want to get out your torque wrench to set it. My internal torque wrench says about right there. All right, little tricks so you don't get any big surprises when you crank up the machine and go for a ride. Let's go ahead and pump it up. Make sure she's going to grab. All right, guys, really, that's about it. Really simple procedure. You can do it yourself. Save yourself from having to go to the dealership. If you are riding along, you have been doing your pre-ride inspections like you're supposed to, and you hear a bunch of grinding going on in the back when you hit your brakes, you probably need to replace your pads. One of your pre-ride inspections, uh, you want to make sure you've got at least an eighth of an inch left of uh, pad material on the pads. If not, then you need to go ahead and replace it. It gets down that far, it doesn't dissipate the, the heat properly, and uh, that can get you into trouble if, you, uh, if you're out on a spirited ride. Well, listen, that pretty much wraps it up. Simple procedure. All I'm gonna do now is just drop it down and take it for a spin. Listen, if you need any of these products, uh, come see us at uh, partzilla.com. We can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, if you would just leave them in the, uh, the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until then, I just wanna say thanks for watching.